Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the, our generation's most beloved stories. The story of Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter is a fraud. Okay, not really a fraud. But you see, one lovely evening, I was sitting and reading a very lovely classic novel by a certain Oscar Wilde. The picture of Dorian Gray. Well handled. I loved it. I was in love with it. But then, I turned the last page, and I realized I need something else to read. And I also realized I have never actually read the first Harry Potter book. Shame on me. But I had bought a copy, planning on reading it. But I dug through my bookcase and found Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So oh, I was trying to read it slowly and absorb it all because it's such a loved tale. It's like I need to read it slowly to get it in my head. So I'm reading it and reading it very, very slowly. And in no time, even though I'm trying to read very, very slowly, I got to page number 27 in my scholastic copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And, as you should recall from Monday's video, I am kind of a little bit of an expert on this little itty bitty thing I'm about to point out. Let's see, let's start a paragraph beforehand. Harry in front of the tank and looked intensely at the snake. He wouldn't have been surprised if it had died of boredom itself. No company except stupid people drumming their fingers on the glass trying to disturb it all day long. It was worse than having a cupboard in the bedroom, where the only visitor was Aunt Petunia hammering on your door trying to rake, wake you up. At least you got to visit the rest of the house. And here's the kicker. The snake opened its beady eyes. Slowly, 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 very slowly, it raised its head until its eyes were on a level with Harry's. It winked. probably don't realize what's wrong with that. There's a pretty big thing wrong with that. Snakes. And like I said, I'm kind of a little bit of an expert on this, as I deal with snakes on a regular basis. Do not have eyelids. Therefore, they cannot close their eyes in order to open them. Once again, no eyelids can't wink. No winking snakes. Perhaps she was thinking of legless lizards, but... Let's open it back up to that page on page 27. Blah, 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 blah. Harry asked where it's from. The, paint, the snake jabbed its tail at the little sign next to glass. Harry peered at it. Boa constrictor, Brazil. It's a Brazilian boa constrictor. Boa constrictors from Brazil do not have eyelids. In fact, all snakes do not have eyelids. The only thing that even looks like a snake that has eyelids are legless lizards. They only get to be about this long, and they are completely, they're a completely different species. They do look like snakes, except for the head is really shaped weird. They have a lizard-shaped head on what looks like a snake's body. They do have eyelids because lizards have eyelids, and they are not a snake, they are a lizard. But they only get to be this long. He is talking about a 12-foot boa constrictor. I figure... The publishers had to have gotten to page 27 and been like, oh, no, 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 no. Snakes don't have eyelids. I mean, couldn't she have gone to a zoo and looked at a snake? And my sister was all like, well, maybe it's a magical snake. You really think the muggles would have passed over a, mug a magical snake? If it was a magical snake, why would it just have eyelids? Don't you think it'd be able to fly? or speak English instead of whatever the language is that snakes speak. And I know you probably think I'm totally nuts for being all like, snakes don't have eyelids. But it's true, they don't. So, happy Wednesday to all of you, and I will see you again on Friday with whatever I feel like talking about. Probably about the end of the world. Bye, have fun.